Oh, what is up guys, it's Mike Schwim here and welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough in most of all. Welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough episode 25 and you might think, wait, wait, what? What happened to episode 24? Well, I noticed that uh, at least in one or two videos, could be more, that I pronounced the episodes wrong. But uh, that's because I quickly upload them after one another and I can't always upload, you know. Um, so it's a little bit confusing sometimes for myself. Unless I check my YouTube channel out, you know, and see, okay, so I left at 20, let's say to episode 20 and uh, I got four recorded right now. So this must be 25. Damn it. You know, I had it wrong once again. My apologies about that. So. It could happen, you know, I'm only a human myself, I make mistakes, and it's not that I do these commentary things uh, right off after the recording itself, I do them at the same time, you know, so keep in mind that I could be wrong about the episode's names, but as always, make sure to check the title, it will have 100% the 100% accurate episode name. But uh, I will try to uh, keep it avoidable, you know, tr to avoid it as much as possible because, uh, you know, ha naming your episodes wrong is somewhat weird. But uh, my apologies nevertheless. So Bakaresh was not episode 23, but it was actually 24. So once again, my uh, sincere apologies for that. And uh, I would keep, you know, YouTube and count all the episodes that I've currently have recorded just to be sure that I don't name the wrong episode, you know. Bakadesh was right, it was only episode 23 instead of episode 24. Well, the other way around actually. But uh, in this particular episode, we're gonna go to a Morasul. <laughs> 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 Which is a Kor Angar. But uh, Morasul is gonna be quite quite a long episode, I think. I have to keep a bit on the beaten tracks so I can keep my eyes open for the well known ancient sand crawler. Let's see, how many blood chalices do I. Well, fire chalices, nine. One I will find in Nordmar, so I will find one or two here. I think one. So Nordmar is ten. This one is eleven. I miss one more somewhere else. Not quite sure which one out of my head. Could be that the desert are that too. But uh, you know, whatever it is, we, we're gonna get it. You know, all the fire chalices because I have to. I have to uh, deliver them to the Yorks. So, uh, and uh, you know, whether I like it or not, as a human orc mercenary, it is my duty to work for the Orcs. Not just to get that 75% reputation but to get it as high as possible while also assisting the other camps you know the rebel will do the same the rebel will also support the orcs but in certain decisions he will choose for the rebels instead of the orcs you know same with Hashishin he also works for the orcs but that's because the orcs and the Hashishin work together because they both serve Baleard
But uh, Mother Soul in itself is going to be quite a long episode, I think. Um, I estimate, out of my head, um, could be about two to three hours, which is a lot. Um, but I prefer to have them in one particular episode, you know, so that all the quests can be found in that particular episode instead of having part one, part two, part three, you know. Um, part four, whatever, how many parts it requires to make a decent length, you know. But uh, most quests are relatively forward. The there are some couple of side quests which allows me well prohibit me. Why is prohibit a good word? I don't think so. It uh, forces me. Forces is a good word. It forces me to travel around through the ruins. It will force me to do certain things which make things longer, like um, finding the uh, renegade Hushishins. Killing the ore thief, you know, kicking these guys' butts with the rebel or human orc mercenary, I'm not quite sure which side that guy was. But it requires me to travel around back and forth quite quite some quite often, you know. Um so I will first do the main quests in Morasul and then decide shall I do a separate quest with let's say Al Shadim and the surroundings you know of Morasu or should I do them in one episode which means it could be a long episode so I'm thinking about splitting it into two the outer sections of Morasu like the temple of Al Shadim and uh, you know the the renegade Hashishin the um, Kafu guards um, the ore thief you know those kind of things are all in the surroundings of Morasul, like in those fields of ruins, you know, I might as well do those in a separate episode, so the episodes are, you know, not three to four hours long due to, let's say, lots of deaths, little amount of saving and whatnot, you know, easy, it is easy to make mistakes, and it's, you always figure out that you made a mistake at the point that you don't want to, you know, have made that mistake and it happens often especially to me I have uh, I forget to quick save quite often but I'm starting to do it more and more and more you know because of the fact I made so many mistakes that could have prevented some episodes to be a bit shorter um, but you know it is what it is we'll see if I will uh, split it in two or in one but uh, neither you know either way make sure always to check the description and if the game is let's say three to four hours the timestamps are not gonna fit in the description so the first part will be posted in the description the second and the third whatever how many parts it requires will be pinned in the comment below um, so that you guys just you know can click them open and you will have the entire list for your nose to enjoy for your eyes to be watching and to skip whatever you want to skip not because I do it with love and not because I want to make lots of money and thus make longer episodes but because I'm doing this as a let's play slash guide slash walkthrough whatever you want to call it you know you can use my timestamps for many many different purposes and uh, in the end, uh, those timestamps will make me less money, but you know what, I'm willing to make that bet, you know. I'm willing to make that risk of eventually earning less than I normally would if I hadn't made those timestamps. Because, you know, I'm not per se doing this about the money. You know, of course I need to get paid at some point, but it's not per se that I do this about money. You know, it's about my hobby, I like to play games, I upload them to YouTube for you guys to enjoy. And if I get, get paid eventually for it, you know, great. But I don't want to be a guy like PewDiePie, PewDiePie who earns, what's what, 5, 6 million a year? You know, that's a bit too much. Um, 5k a month would be uh, living like a king. More is always better, you know, but uh, if I earn more, I'm gonna create more jobs for my community most especially 
by paying you guys to do the timestamps for me, by paying you guys to make intros, outros for me, etc. You know, let the money fly if I earn it. Let's see what this guy has to offer. Uh, how many uh, lockpicks do I have? 170. Holy shit. Now, I'm not so sure about this. Now, I don't have to have more lockpicks anymore. Good, uh, good thing I checked. Because I always purchase them. You know, whether I need I them or not. Telekinesis I got as Adenor's magic. And that's how it's gonna be. Like I only hope so. But these are surely I'm gonna give me some gold in my pockets. He has fifteen thousand. And that's how it's gonna be. Oh, you can afford this. So you're poor, and uh, then you have money. I'm not a merchant. Show me your goods. Believe this. It's always the same old story. All right, so let's start the talking. Where shall I begin? Let's talk with the smithy. Call me Ismail. I'm the blacksmith here. The only blacksmith around. I see. You're very busy then? You can say that. Almost everybody here is carrying one of my weapons. Where can I find the merchants? Have you already fought in the arena? Felipe managed to get hold of something special. The next champion will win the Moonblade. Is that not right up your alley? Uh, if I were ten years younger, I wouldn't miss the opportunity. If you need another weapon, I can sell you one. And if you want to know how to forge a blade, I can show you. Really? Teach me something about being a smith. We'll see about that one. You aren't ready for that. I'm not. Well, that's shame. You don't have the necessary. Uh, shame. Tell me more about the Moonblade. It is a valuable ancient weapon. It was forged in Bisala. What I wouldn't give for it. Really? Why is that? I want to examine it. Perhaps I can learn from this blade. And how much is the blade worth to you? Hmm, let's say 600 gold coins. Now, you have two options to give the Moonblade to. Either give it to the Ismail the Smith, or give it as a gift to a Gonzales. Since I'm a human orc mercenary, I'm of course gonna give it to a Gonzales. Let me take a look at your goods. What'd you look at that? An all blank? I'm not gonna purchase it. You know, I got, uh, let's see. Uh, 61 regular steel blades and, uh, well, raw steel. And where's my magic ore? And I got eight of those. I only need about one of each, you know could make some money out of it same with my gold lumps of gold and such you know but I will do that only if it is a must and if there are no more quests related to it hey you are you looking for the temple keys too excuse me there's only one topic in this wretched town the artifact keys to the temple of Morasul really the fellow in my pub asks a lot of questions about the temple I think he knows something maybe you should talk to him what are you buying? Or are you broke already? What do you mean? Nothing's cheap at Morasul. If you have no gold, you're soon down on your luck here. You don't look like a Shishin. That's probably because I come from Mertana. How can I make some gold here? You could try to make some bargains with the merchants. But I think you'd be better off in the arena. Hey, maybe I should bet on you. Let's see, I think I could risk a few coins. Anything else? Well, if you need some gold really badly, I could lend you some. Could you? How much? Let's say 1,000 for you, but then I want 400 extra back. 
He's like, uh, you know, Lamar the Moneylender, only he is Hector the Moneylender of Morasul. I'm not gonna do that. Got plenty of gold and uh, 400 extra gold to pay him back. Hell no. Interested in a little business? What's a mercenary doing in Morasul? Business? What else? You're here to get on the gravy train too, aren't you? You got that right. What do you have to offer? <laughs> oh, I see I caught your attention. I can tell you how to get your hands on one of the temple keys of Morasul. And? Well, this will cost you a little. How much? 500 gold coins. Where's the temple key? Have you got the gold? Yes, here. Fine. Now, the temple key is outside of town. Desert raiders got their hands on it. They took it during a raid and are now looking for a buyer. Do you know where those raiders are? Yes, I can lead you there if you want. He's gonna ambush me, but uh, let him. He's gonna regret it terribly. Lead me to the desert raiders. I will. Follow me. I will not kill him though, because he is a rebel. Well, a human orc mercenary like myself. Totally two different factions, but hey. He should know that uh, I'm, I'm I'm superior than him. But he's gonna try nevertheless with his, uh, what? 20 damage blade. I also need a really better blade because this one is relatively crap. It only deals about, uh, let's see. It only deals uh, 135 damage. It's not that much, you know. Let me save here, you know, in case I get my ass whooped. Right, my friend. Time to say your final prayers. I see. You're a desert raider yourself, huh? You had better give me all the temple keys you found, and quick! What makes you think I've got any? Those stupid things are worth a heap of gold here. I already got my hands on one. And someone like you hasn't come to Mora Soul to sell slaves. I bet you already secured a key or two for yourself. And I'm gonna beat them out of you now. I'll tear you apart! Three, huh? <laughs> All right, th <sighs> the next time I'll kill you. I forgot I also have poison on my weapons. Well, on my uh, sword. It's harder to stab with this weapon than with one hand. Huh? Hey, folks, there's a fight. No, really. Almost, my friends, almost. So you guys don't do that any shit in again.
Kirk, come here, you fool. Too hard. Uh, you. Uh, 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 uh. I want his stuff, you know. Nothing to be had. Oh, already did. Whoops. He deserved it, nevertheless. You have come at the right moment, father of competence. I hate to tell you this, but my own guards have robbed me. Those dogs, may they never find a drop of water again. You let your own guards steal from you? If you want to do me a favor, hunt down those guys. I already told Bandero, the bounty hunter, about this. But that was the last time I ever heard from him. You're selling water? That can be a profitable business, master of a thousand adventures. A traveler who's dying of thirst would give anything for a cool drink from my well. You can have a cool drink too, if you like. What did the guards steal from you? There were at least 700 gold coins. I want them back. I will bring back your gold. That would be extremely kind of you, master of generosity. I will take care of your guards. I hope they have already withered under Inos's unrelenting sun. May their bodies shrivel. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. You must hunt them down. Do you hear me? Show me your goods. Water. I need water for uh, healing potions. Wine for mana potions. Kind of funny, you know. Healing potions are made out of plants and water, while mana potions are created out of wine and plants. Magic. Let's joke around a bit. Um, let's see. Don, don, don. Well, there are merchants, you know. I can't sell. I can sell the gear, but. Let's get the other quests. No, no, I don't want to pay. Forget a thousand. A thousand is nothing. Greetings, Keeper of a Thousand Coins. You appear to be looking for something. Are you a raider of the Lost Temple Keys of Morasul? Or is it a fate other than mere hunger for profit that leads you to our hot country, my pale friend? Says the other pale one. Tell me about the Temple Keys of Morasul. Oh yes, I don't mind if I do. I happen to have one here in my possession. Perhaps we could make a deal. You're a merchant? Very perceptive of you. I trade in artifacts, like so many people of my kind in this country. Would you perhaps be interested in my goods? What do you want for your temple key? You know, I purchased this for a reason. There's something in the temple that I would like to have. What? An old vase. It is covered. I propose this deal. I give you the key, and you bring me the vase. How about it? I will get the vase from the temple for you. Great. Remember, it is completely covered with writing. And if you don't deliver the vase, a bounty hunter will deliver your head to me. Here's the key. And don't be too long. Thanks for Show the level. Me your goods. Why does no one have the beautiful stone tablets? I bet you guys had lots of them. I still need our uh, 250 is max requirement. So I need 189. Uh, 81. I'm, now I'm saying totally wrong. 141. Wow. And then I have the max requirement of ancient knowledge. For the full powers of Adanos. I 
don't know you. Are you from up north? You could say so. Hmm. Seeking to make a profit too? Sure. What else? You need to work with what you've got. What are you doing here? I sell. I buy. What would you like to hear? I'm an artifact trader. And as long as things don't go wrong all the time, I'm pleased enough with my humble existence. What's going wrong for you? The slaves at the temple stole the artifacts from the orcs and sold them here in town. Every single trader here in Morasul made a profit. But ever since they caught Yusuf the slave, business has all but come to an end. Tell me more about that artifact thief, Yusuf. He was the best thief among the slaves. He even stole the keys to the temple of Morasul and sold them in town. Those are the most valuable items that the orcs have dug up out there so far. But they're only keys. That's right. But the orcs want to get inside the temple. That's why they would pay any price to get their hands on those keys. Makes sense. I will help you get your business going once more. I want the slaves to work for me again. Yeah, sure. You want them to pilfer artifacts for you. Go to the temple and talk to the fat man. He's supervising the slaves there. Persuade him. I don't no. care how you do it, as long as business goes on. Where is this slave Yusuf now? He fled to the desert. Last I saw him, he ran northeast from Morasul. I get the picture. It will all look different in the morning. Wait, do you have uh, artifacts? Show me your goods. Of course not. Of course not. That's m way too much to ask. What's wrong? Are you lost? Do I look like it? In a way, yes. You're peering into every corner as though you've lost something. Mm. Or you're looking for an opportunity to bag something here in the city, right? And if that were so? Hmm. In that case, I might be able to help you. What's up? Nonsense. I'm looking for work. Well, I might have something for someone like you. All right. What do you have to offer? The most influential merchants in the entire desert live in this damn city, and their great wealth matches their position. If you help me to lighten their burden somewhat, I could teach you how to really line your pockets. All right. I'll help you. What exactly am I supposed to steal? A while ago, this quack came to Morasul. <laughs> he told the merchants here stories of a great evil demon. It always comes by night and steals the souls of unbelievers. <laughs> Naturally, there is a remedy. The soul chalice. It would protect its owner from the demon. Five of the merchants here paid a fortune to obtain the soul chalice. Since then, every one of them has had one standing next to his pillow. Bring me the five soul chalices. The fools will also pay a second time when they noticed that the things are gone. Who exactly has a soul chalice? Fezul bought one. And Ilya as well. That I know. For the others, hmm, I am not quite so sure. Just take a look beside their beds. And don't get any ideas about selling them the items yourself. That requires a bit more sales talent. If you know what I mean. Yeah, sure. Anything is possible. Problem solve themselves. There you are, at last. Found your way to the big arena of Morasul, after all. Angar, how did you get here? Well, I went up to the coast, and there I was. Went through a couple of fights here in the arena. And before I knew it, I was champion of Morasul. Too bad you didn't see me fight against Orknarok. Tell me about your fight with Orknarok. Well, listen then. First we exchange a few blows, you know, testing each other out. Then he hits me with some heavy blows, and I try to block. And I'm going down. Then he twirls his axe like it's light as a feather. 
I staggered back to my feet, knock it aside with a parry, spin around and slug him a good one. That was it. And then they declared me champion. Looks like you haven't quite retired yet. You're right. I'm still working on my pension fund. But as long as the war between the gods remains undecided, I may not find any peace either, I'm afraid. I'm glad that at least we managed to get off that cursed island of Carinus. Being champion of Mora Sul is quite a big deal around here, isn't it? I guess so. These idiots were never in the mining colony. Compared to our battles with the guards back then, these arena fights are really a joke. The only interesting part is the prize for the champion. The Moonblade. An awesome weapon. Too hard. You're still really into weapons, aren't you? I can show you a few more things. Would you teach me how to fight? Where is the, the uh... You are one of the nomads. So I am, from Kaor's clan. Someday, my brothers will come and free me. Do you think it is wise to say that aloud? The Hashishin do not believe we can ever make it. And you? I am ready to die for my freedom. That's all that counts for me. You are fighting in the arena? Right. If you want to fight me, go talk to Philippe. Where can I find Kaor? I will tell you, although I do not know your intentions. Therefore, be warned. Do not cross my clan. You would bitterly regret it. Get on with it. My clan's hideout is a cave near the west end of the Fields of Ruins. I'm not here to chat. I'm here to fight. If you're looking for a challenge, I'm your man. Go to Felipe and tell him you want to fight. You haven't been in the city long, have you? Then you should know Are one you thing. Serious? Morasul is Gonzales's city. Gonzales takes his cut from it's every possible. business, every deal, even from the thefts. Have you seen the elite this warriors running so around easy. here? They are under his command. I see. I can get you a couple of missions that. to put a bit of gold in your pockets. Morasul can be very expensive, especially for travelers. What sort of missions do you have? Bounty hunting. I am looking for a couple of really bad guys and a thief. Oh, think about it. There is also this missing Hashashin. Who is this thief you're looking for? His name is Yusuf. He stole some artifacts from the excavation. What's so unusual about that? First, he stole the artifacts that can be used to open the temple. And second, he got caught and took off. Gonzalez can't let him get away with that. The orcs are still guests in our country, after all. I see. I could have told you that. What about that missing Hashishin? His name is Ramirez. Sure, he works for the black mage, Ningal. Tell me more about the bad guys. The guards of Kafu, the water vendor on the east side of town. They ran off with his gold, just like that. Hmm. And? Kafu is high in Gonzalez's favor. Do I have to say more? So, you're a bounty hunter. I used to hunt everything, but Gonzalez offered me a good deal. The job here is a bit quieter, but I've still got what it takes. So, if you want to know something... Teach me something about hunting. I will kill Yusuf, the artifact thief. Good, but to do that, you'll have to find him first. Take a look around the excavation. If you're lucky, he's hiding nearby. I'll look into Ramirez. Good. All I know is he was on his way to the Fields of Ruins. And he has been gone a very long time. So find out what's wrong. I will track down Kafu's guards and kill them. I have already sent people north and east, but they haven't found anything. And what does that mean? Somebody bold enough to tangle with Gonzalez is also bold enough to stay in the area. I'll find them. Now where is Felipe? Get much worse. He should have known better. Yeah. What do you want? 
I might sleep till morning. I'm here to sleep, my friend. Let's wait till he uh, is over here. Makes it a bit more fun. Oleg the bear. Then we have uh, Actos the nomad. And Kor Engar. Ah, a fresh face. I'm Felipe, and I run the arena. I am interested in fame, glory, and gold. Then you've come to the right place. What are the rules? You buy a combat partner from me. If you win, you get twice the amount back, and the champion will receive the Moonblade. What exactly is the Moonblade? The great prize for the champion of the arena. I can assure you that this is probably the most coveted weapon in all of Morasul. Even Gonzalez, the most powerful man in town, would love to own the Moonblade, I bet. Really? I'm ready. I want to fight. Can't wait to see this. Come to the arena! Featuring now, the challenger, the stranger from up north, versus the well-known, formidable, and much-revered Paladin! All right, the Paladin. So what do I do next? If you're not going to check him out, you must enter the arena. That's where the Paladin awaits you. If you leave the arena before the fight is over, you lose. Understand? Right. Get moving then. I must say, the Ashishin guys are relatively smart when it comes to creating nicknames. Come here! Let him have it! Well fought, Paladin. You're right, sir. Next time, it's my turn. Sometimes I feel so tired. And how was the fight for you? Once upon a time, I'd have had two like you for breakfast. And today, I'm sucking sand. Man, I'm getting old. You fought well. Why do they call you a paladin? I was a simple soldier in the king's army and fought in the war against the orcs. The Hashishin attacked us and dragged me off. Then I had two options, the arena or breaking rocks. An easy choice. Well, and then they gave me this title to attract spectators. It worked. Sure did. Quite impressive, really. But I still believe you've just gotten really lucky. Lucky? Well, we both know that the Paladin's heyday is over. You have to beat some stronger opponents if you really want to go far. Anktos is a different story altogether. A hero of the people handles a sword quite deftly. Give me a real I'll opponent. You've got courage. I will give you that. Listen up, people! Some Fighting some next! Some the challenger! The Lone Wanderer of the North versus Anktos the Nomad! He came from the desert to avenge the death of his brothers. Will the challenger be strong enough to hold his own against him? Have you got a hint for me? Yes, watch your neck. And now go. Anktos will be waiting in the arena. All right, so let's take care of this uh, Anktos the Nomad. Come here. Uh, be a fight, men. Uh, 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 uh,
pill of luck. Next time, it's my turn. Well, you certainly know how to fight. Respect. Thank you, Antos the Nomad. <laughs> People are starting to like you. You can always score with them if you beat up a nomad. But your next opponent is a veritable bear. Big as a wardrobe and strong as an ox. They say he can snap a bear's neck with his bare hands. Whatever kind of animal that may be. I want a really good fighter. <laughs> You've got your work cut out for you. Listen, people. Do not miss out on this spectacle. Now fighting the mysterious stranger versus Oleg the Bear. Oleg the Bear. Show me what you've got. There's going to be a fight, men. Very well done. time I'll kill you <laughs> one thing I must admit you had a good fighting instructor thanks <laughs> what a match what a spectacle yeah yeah I get the picture you're ready Ready for what? The title. Just one more fight, oh, and you'll be the champion of Morasul. I want to challenge the champion. I knew you would not settle for just a piece of the pie. You want it all. <laughs> hmm. Citizens of Morasul, it is with great pleasure I give you the upcoming fight. The current undefeated arena champion of Morasul, Anga! Versus... The current honorable challenger, the stranger! Just like all days, brother. Let's get this done. If I were you, my friend, I wouldn't stand here. This is going to be a battle of the ages. Then show me what you've got. Keep at it! Well fought, Angar. How did I measure up? Man, you've still got it, haven't you? Congratulations. You are now the new champion of Morasul. Maybe it's time I retired after all. Come with me. Let's get to it. Let's go. Show me your goods. 
All right, so let's sell the weapons that I got in the arena. Hey, hey, great fight. You are truly a worthy champion. Now what? You have beaten the champion. Nobody will challenge you for a while, I'm afraid. But I put my gold on you. You earn me a tidy sum. Where's my prize? Here. This noble blade is now yours. You should probably do it yourself. Go back now! You know where to find me. Now the reason why I'm sending back again is because I need uh, to have another companion with me for quest related. But uh... Alright, so let's talk with the guard of uh, Gonzales. What are you doing hanging around here? What sort of building is this? I ought to have you flogged for such a stupid question. You're standing in front of the residence of one of the most powerful merchants in Varant. Gonzales has great influence here in the desert, and you will honor his name, or die. What else can you tell me about Gonzales? He is the most skilled merchant in the desert, and Zubin's most important man when it comes to business. So be careful not to arouse the wrath of Gonzales, or things will go badly for you. Yeah, yeah, I get it. How can I do Gonzales a favor? Everyone knows that Gonzales only receives people who impress him and bring him gifts. I see. About the gifts for Gonzales. Speak. What do you have to offer? I bring gold for Gonzales. Ah, yeah. Gonzales will be pleased by this gift. Gold is always good. But gold isn't everything. About the gifts for Gonzales. Speak. What do you have to offer? Is Gonzales also interested in swamp weed? I have a whole package here. You are a man of taste. Yes, that will please Gonzales. Here, the stuff comes from Lago. Gonzales will be very pleased with this. About. Speak. I am bringing him the Moonblade. The Moonblade, you say? The grand prize of the Arena of Morasul? A useful gift. Gonzales will accept your gift with thanks. About... Speak. What would Gonzales especially like? Well, what could possibly please a man of the world? A special hard-won weapon? Beautiful woman? Maybe even if long overdue debts were finally paid? You think of something. Morasul is large. You're sure to find some suitable gifts here. Hmm. I'll take a look around. Greetings, stranger from the north. How's business? Mm, sometimes good, sometimes bad. I'm working on a big score with Gonzales. But before that, I have to settle a couple of other matters. And I could use your help doing that, warrior. Work for me for a while, and I will make you a rich man. Do you see men from the north here very often? Occasionally. The last one I met said that he was a fire mage. Well, as run down and starved as he looked, it was difficult to imagine that he was once one of those powerful mages. This guy also has a fire chalice. Tell me more about the fire mage. There isn't much to tell. He croaked in the desert. The only thing he had with him was this chalice. He guarded it jealously to the very end. Apparently, the chalice was worth more to him than his life, the fool. 
Where is the Fire Mage's chalice now? Ha <laughs> ha! You seem to be very interested in it, stranger. Ha! <laughs> and I thought the thing was worthless. The chalice is in my possession. Work for me, and I will give you the Fire Mage's chalice. I see. What do you want me to do for you? I have to get this slave off my hands. Take Orknorak to the Temple of the Ancient Ones. Talk to Fasim there. Let them deal with him. What's the problem? It's the sun. It makes him crazy. Last night, he stood before me in my tent with this penetrating gaze. Just get him out of here, or I'm going to lose my mind. How can Hamid be of service to you, son of distant travels? A man like you must be interested in a good bargain, no? What's that deal you want to offer me? For many years now, I have been looking for a particular artifact. The Amulet of Sorcery. Where is it? Somewhere among the ruins? Not anymore. The busy hands of slaves dug it up from the sand. It is now in the hands of Ilya, the artifact dealer. I will get you the amulet from Ilya. Here, take this gold. It should be enough if you use it wisely. Why don't you go and simply buy the amulet? That's not so easy, son of Frank Speech. If Ilya learns it is for me, he will inflate the price. Who are you? I am Orknarok. That's a strange name. Actually, my name is Oli. Yeah, that's my fighting name. It comes from my time as a gladiator. Why don't you fight in the arena? I did, at least until Angar took me apart, and then no one wanted to see me fight anymore. Philippe sold me to Masil for a song. You're coming with me now. I'd like nothing better. I need to do something, anything, before I go nuts here. You gave Masil a pretty nasty scare. Hey, I just couldn't take it from him anymore, understand? The guy has no use for me anyway. I gave him a bit of a scare so he won't want to get rid of me. Well, it worked. Come with me. All right. Let's get the soul chances. I am looking for the amulet of sorcery. Mm, you've come in vain, then, I'm afraid. I have no such amulet. Really? Why don't you take another look? It is very old. Oh, right. One of the old amulets. Yes, I have that. Tell me, why do you want it? Everyone can use a magic amulet. Of course. So why does it have to be this one? I want to increase my magic abilities. With this amulet, I will gain more mana and can cast improved spells. Oh, uh, fine. I will tell you my price.
Show me your goods. Why do you always have junk? So far, no, none of them seem to be bothered. How many soul chalices do I have? Four, I think. Yep, four. One more. Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No. We're watching you. Sure that you do. Here are the soul chalices. Ha! <laughs> you are great. You've got what it takes. Congratulations. Here, I'll give you some gold now. Some time will have to pass before I can show up at the merchants with these things. They need to stew for a while first. Teach me something about thievery. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. Good. Carry on like that. You aren't ready for that. Ready, one more. No. Oh. If I waste one learning point, then I can't use the five learning points, so. Because then I have four left. Same principle, you know. So I'll just wait with it a bit. Now, where is the merchant guy that wants me to get some. The ladies. Here's Ilya's amulet. Excellent, son of reliability. And here's your reward. I can offer you another deal, if you are interested. Tell me about your deal. Go to Morat's oasis on my behalf and bring him my greetings. Give him the amulet as a present. A present? He will not accept it without offering you something in return. I see. How much should I accept? You will accept nothing less than the lovely Yasmin. She is the price I desire. Yasmin. Nothing else. How much is in it for me? Hmm. I will give you a heap of gold. And I will recommend you to Gonzales. All right, I'm in. Take the amulet, and listen. Do not let him trick you. Where is Murat's oasis? Not far from these walls to the west of the city, son of disorientation. All right. All right, so let's go. I cannot be everywhere at once. I won't breathe a word. No, I'm not so sure about this. I'm gonna do two things. Um, I'm first gonna go to Yusuf and uh, get the slave, you know, get one of the keys and go with uh, the paladin that sits next to him to Minecrawler hunt. 
because of a uh, fire chalice. From then I will go to Moritz Oasis, get the gift for Gonzalez, as well as the gift for uh, exchange of the amulet of sorcery. And uh, then it's gonna be pretty much the end of this particular episode and in the next episode we're gonna go to the temple of Al Shadim, the ruins surrounding the temple of Al Shadim to deliver all this guy, what was his name? Oh yeah, Orkna Rock. And uh, that will be all done in the next episode because that's quite a way. Because Al Shadim is over there, Field of Ruins is over there. So I will do them in another separate episode. I think that's better, smarter. Teleport the stone and water saw. I don't think I did. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. For you, filthy beast. This King Sorrel. Stranger, have you got water? Here, have a sip. Thanks, man. That feels good. What are you doing out here? Are you a runaway slave? No chance of passing for anything else. You won't betray me, will you? There's bound to be something I can give you. But please, let me go. What can you tell me? Everyone is after me. I stole the keys to the temple of Morasul and sold them to some influential people. But before I could sell the last one, I had to run for it. Who in Morasul bought the temple keys from you? I had four keys. The mercenary Kirk paid a lot of gold for one of the keys. I sold one to Elia and the third to the boss of the city, Gonzales. What do you know? That means you still have a temple key. Give it to me. All right. I just hope you'll let me live. I have a hunch what you're planning to do. You want to open the temple. Let me tell you, there's a curse on that temple. There are? Old Nazir warned me about it. He said a great disaster would befall us if the temple was opened. You said you had four temple keys. Yes, but I don't know how many of them there are. But if it's more than four, the rest still must be somewhere near the Temple of Morasul. I see. 
I've been ordered to kill you. Oh, hell, take it easy, friend. Please don't do that. I'm sure I can be useful to you. What should I do with you now? Just tell the people in Morasul that I got away. Hey, nobody gives a damn about old Yusuf. I'll just disappear, like water in the sand. And you'll never hear from me again. Hmm. I'll think about it. I accepted the mission to kill you, and that's what I'm going to do now. You filthy swine. May your remains shrivel in the sands of the desert. I'll show you. Hey, folks, there's a fight. No. Murderer! Wait, what? Oh, really? I didn't want this to happen, but uh, if I had to reload, it would have been a lot to redo. Um, and since I already know anyways, where I can find the fire chalice, pretty much, um, I would just get it myself. I should have waited, but I didn't think about it before I killed Yusuf. So now I've just seen to figure out where the injured crawlers were. Because truth be told, I'm not 100% sure. You showed him. <laughs> there, so much for you, filthy beast. I think I'm in the wrong, in a good direction. Where's Orknarok? Oh, the NPCs are really, really stupid. Sure. 
I think I have to go more that way. They were near a walled structure, but that is the Temple of Al Shadim, so that's not it for 100% certainty. That's what I use the Paladin normally for, you know, for that quest, but uh, I fucked it up there. So much for you, filthy beast. One filthy beast less. takes care of that. Or was it that way? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was close to uh, to Morasul, so uh, that way I suppose. I will find them, no worries guys. But uh... Oh wait, over there! return to uh well then I still uh, first have to go to uh what was it Murat's Oasis which is uh let me see uh, this one or this one I'm not quite sure but uh to get the girls Yup, this most definitely is it. takes care of that. I'll do uh, what it's Oasis in the next episode as well. I think. There, 
so much for you, filthy beast. Let's go, man. But I've got to fire Chalice. Which means I still need one more. Um, which is the guy in uh, Morasul and uh, which he found, well, took from a, uh, a fire mage. And then the last one we need is in Nordmar. That's not the one I'm looking for. So I suppose it is this one then. Let me check real quick what's here. This most definitely is not the area but... A couple of beasties. Asuru's cave is over there. Let me, let me go to Asuru and then finish the episode there. Takes care of that. I wanted to do uh, the oasis, you know, of Murat and then bring them back, but since I'm near Azuru's cave, which is a bit off, but uh, that's fine. I can do Murat's Oasis on my way back to, you know, the city of Morasu. How many keys do I currently have? Three. One has the Orc, so I miss one more, which is uh, the one from Gonzales. And uh, Morasul will be one of the first cities that will actually have multiple parts. Uh, I could have done the same thing with um, with Galden, but you know, back then I wasn't really paying attention to the time of the recording and whatnot. Still, I'm not. But I think this is already quite a long episode, so might as well go to a secondary part and do the remaining ones. You know, make it more bearable for you guys. But it doesn't look to be Azaru's cave. Because it isn't. That's many lionesses. Could have died there. Oh! 
There, so much for you, filthy beast. But since I haven't found Azuru's cave yet, I still have no checkpoint. It's either the Oasis or the Nomads. Oasis it is. Nah, I'm gonna keep them clean in one episode. You know, because uh, I always make sure the timestamps will be there. If it doesn't fit in the description, I will make sure it will be continued in the descriptions. So, uh, well, in the comment description, you know, comment section, pinned it. And if that doesn't fit, I'll make a second layer, so I will answer myself, you know. To make sure that all the timestamps are there. You showed him. <clears throat> but the second episode will somewhat be the second part of Morasu. Um because I will, you know, talk with this guy and I get the girls and then save. Um, but that's because of the Temple of Al Shadim. Because I always die a lot at the Temple of Al Shadim. So I have to make sure that's in a separate video. Otherwise, the video is gonna be 3 4 hours. Already had that with Gelden, and it's gonna be hell to rewatch that, to timestamp it. Knowingly that it will not fit anyways, you know, especially not in the way that I timestamp But uh, this time I will be a bit smarter And use the Temple of Al-Shadim as a uh, secondary part of Morasul But I will take the ladies to Gonzales first, because that should allow me to get access to Gonzales. So the most de the most important quest in Morasu will be finished in this episode, and the bounty hunting and such, you know, will be done in the episodes of El Shadim, pretty much. Or I'll make I'll make second part of Morasul and do all the quests. I think that's better, cleaner, easier to timestamp, win-win. So let me quickly talk with the guy over here. 
and then uh, end the episode and continue in the second part of Morasul. I think that's smarter. If you want to buy water, talk to the slaves. What do you have to offer? I am a slave trader. I deal only in the most beautiful women in the country. Take a look at my wares, and you will see that I speak the truth. You're welcome to go closer and talk to the girl of your choice. I bring you greetings from Hamid. Hamid, my old friend. How is he? He is doing good business, and he sends you this amulet as a gift. Hmm, very nice. That is something very special, but no, I cannot accept. You won't accept his gift? Certainly not without giving Hamid a gift in return. Here is Hamid's amulet. Now let us negotiate your gift. Wait! You will receive 500 gold pieces from the treasure of the oasis. Hmm. Wait! Take a thousand gold coins from my personal treasure. Hmm. All right. I will give him the lovely Yasmin as a gift. I think that will please him. Then let it be so. Please make sure that Yasmin reaches Morasul safely. Mm. What a handsome fellow you are. A merchant from Morasul by any chance? Um, no, not really. Too bad. I would have loved to become a rich merchant's wife. Being the wife of the richest merchant in town would put me in good stead, don't you think? People say... You are the most beautiful dancer in the land. I am wary of dancing. Oh, I hope that soon I will belong to someone who admires more than just my dancing. I'll take you out of here. Good. I want to buy a lima. Oh, I see you have excellent taste, young man. She's good for many a memorable night. Gonzales, the boss of the city himself, has an eye on her. Go to her. She will follow you from now on. I'll take you out of here. Good. Hmm. I'm trying to decide whether I should... Hmm. Shall I do it in a second part? Or do it now? I have to go back either way. Uh, Orkna Rock. Really? Go back now. You know where to find me. He will then uh, leave, you know, and go back to... Uh, no, wait. I'll let him wait here. Is that a smart thing to do? Come with me. Let's go! Come. I'm gonna quickly deliver the uh, ladies to the city. Let me check reputation. Hmm. I'm not quite sure if there will suffice. It's a long way around, so, you know, that's why I first wanted to do in two parts, because I still have to take care of Kafu's guards, find the ore thief, uh, what else do I miss? The missing Hashishin Ramirez. No, I'm not gonna tell what monsters. Don't want both of these females to die, nor Akna Rock. Come. But the ruins will be done in the uh, next city because the ruins are gonna take quite a bit of time to explore and uh, time amount of time, you know, to uh, 
get uh, let's say Ramirez corpse is found find the um, Ashishin guy that uh, stole the magic ore from the orcs I will try to do that in the next episode together with the temple of El Shadim because El Shadim is the temple of Morasul you know um, but the temple itself is going to take me quite some time actually because of uh, the undead priests and I hate undead priests I hate priests in general It will have, uh, the second part will, with El Shadim will have the same episode name. It will only have P2 instead of P1, you know, part 1, part 2. So that the video doesn't become too long like Gelden, because that one is nearly 3 hours. And that's gonna be a hell to timestamp. But I will do it nevertheless, you know. Should have made more paid more attention than if I wanted to avert that well you know these things happen I brought somebody for you lovely Yasmin mine at last thank you so much son of gallantry take this gold I will also vouch for you with Gonzales thank you Hamid is an honest fellow I will do well here Wait, what? Where's the other girl? Here's some advice. Put down that weapon. Where is... <sighs> Fell for a second that she was way gone, but she was not that far off. About the gifts for Gonzales. Speak. What do you have to offer? I am bringing a beautiful dancer. Mm, indeed. A beauty. Good gift. She will find her place at the side of my master. Thank you, kind sir. Belonging to the richest man in town is a huge step towards my goal. Mark my words. Someday I will be the wife of Gonzales. Well then, good hunting. Yeah, that's one way to look at. Oh, here's the teleport stone. Yusuf the artifact thief is dead. You found him. Good work, master of the sharp eye. May this bring joy to your heart. Anyway, Gonzales will be pleased to hear this good news. Now, I should be able to get the final fire chalice. Well, apart from the one in Nordmar, but that one is in Nordmar. With Milton. The Fire Madoshi. I just can't go on. What was Masio's dear? Let me check what was Masil. All oh, right. He wanted me to get rid of Orknarok. Oh well, that's for the next episode. So, uh, let me go to the entrance of Morasul. And then I want to thank you guys uh, for watching my episode. Part 1 of 2 of uh, my Montera well, Montera, my uh, Morasul playthrough. We still have uh, some quests left. We have Artifact Trade, Ilya wants the artifact from the Temple of Al Shadim, Kafu's guards, and he wants his gold back, Orknarok the Temple Slave, presents for Gonzales, 
and Ramirez the Mission Shishin. Those will be completed in the next episode, the second part of Morasul. I am doing this to prevent too long video as well as more accurately timestamps without the fear of it not fitting, you know. So uh, anyways guys, I want to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the part 2 of my Mora Soul missions. And uh, I hope to see you then and uh, if you f like what you see, subscribe to my channel if you do hit the notification bell. And uh, you know, feel free to thumbs up, thumbs down, positive or negative comments, that's entirely up to you. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode, part 2 of Mora Soul. See you then, maybe.